it has an auto logic in terms of the pages that are populating down here. Typically, we want the Ecamm selection panel, that's this panel, to be lights out, no lights. Right now, the status page is illuminated. The moment you press something here and the light is illuminated, you are inhibiting the automatic sequencing of this lower display, which should initiate at the uh, doors page when we're at the gate and it shows the doors that are open. When we have wheel rotation, it'll flip to the wheel page. When we start the engines, it'll go to the engine page for engine start. Once we get airborne, uh, and actually, uh, again, wheel rotation for the takeoff, you'll have it on the wheel page so that we can see brake temperature and spoiler deployment in case we do a reject. Once we're airborne, it'll flip to the cruise page. The cruise page is this one here, which is a, a hybrid between engine indications with air conditioning and pressurization. It's, a, it's kind of a hybrid page, only available in cruise with the landing gear up, and there is no button to select the cruise page. It is a page that we cannot select. It's automatically given in flight with the gear up. Once we put the gear down, the wheel page populates. Oh, let me see, it won't let me do it here. No, it won't. All right, that's all right. The wheel page will populate to show spoiler deployment and brake temperature for the landing rollout. And then once we get back to the gate and pop a door open, the door page uh, will again populate the screen. That's the normal sequence of the lower display. That is also, by the way, remember this display, as I mentioned, also doubles up as the status in the in-op systems. But if we don't have an, an abnormal or a non-normal condition, then we would expect for it to go through this automatic sequence, assuming we leave that ECAM displayed blank.